Hmm. I wonder. It's a trap.
that was dumb. I don't know if you guys can see it. This piece right here sticking out. It's a, it just popped out. I mean, I wasn't turning it or nothing. Well, I was, but yeah, and a little piece right there. So, and some of the nails popped out down here. So, not good to use a Fortuner bit. Good to know. Now these ain't going fast enough to like puncture my skin or anything, but they do, they are popping me kind of good, the, the little piece of metal that are flying out of here on the bottom. One more thing, also use really good safety goggles, okay, or a face shield or something. You don't want this stuff getting up in your eyes and wash your hands before you touch your face. It's like we're in kindergarten again, huh? This is staying this thick. Damn, I just need to get this down a little bit more.
All right, so there we have it. <clears throat> the question is, can you turn nails? No, I'm gonna say no for one reason. This thing is extremely thick. Yeah, these are aluminum nails and uh, you, you can do it. It takes a lot of patience. It took me two months to turn. I couldn't turn it all at once. I had to turn a little bit of it, walk away from it for a few days, come back, turn a few, a little bit of it, and it's still really thick. I mean, it's kind of cool looking. Uh, if you ask me, it's got such a great design on it. Let's see that right there. You can see. So, but can you turn nails? No, I, I, don't, I don't think that that's, uh, that's, <laughs> I, I am never, I mean, I, I know I say this all the time once I do something, uh, like the penny bowl, if you haven't seen the penny bowl, go check the penny bowl out, those things were flying everywhere. Uh, you need to know that when you're turning something like that, it's not really turning fast enough that those little pieces of metal are going to shear through your juggler vein and, and kill you, but you still need to be safe about what you do. Um. I use these wraparound uh, Cabelco. When I went to go to their factory, they gave me a set of these. They're Cabelco uh, safety glasses, and they wrap around your eyes all the way around here. Um, I also wore my Z mask with the carbon filters in it, and then uh, I also wore a face shield and. The only issue I had were little bits of the metal from the nails hitting me in the arms right here, but it, it didn't hurt. I mean, it stung a little bit, but it didn't hurt enough to throw on gloves and stuff. I figured if, if a nail got hung up in there and it got the glove, it, it'd be worse than just getting a cut or something. And I did not get any cuts during this, so little pieces did fly off and a couple hit the face shield. Uh, but no, 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 no. Do not, do not try that. I don't think I'll ever do that again. Maybe, maybe those aluminum nails, if I would have heated them up real good to, to make them a little bit softer, I guess. I don't know. Anyways, um, that, <laughs> I don't know what else to say about it, but uh, no, uh, I, I would not do that again. I'm going to be putting this up on my website for sale. If you're interested, I'll put the link down in the description and probably a little eye over here you can click on. Um, and it usually is in the first comment of the comments uh, section down below until it gets sold and then I'll put sold on it. All right. Well, I really appreciate you guys stopping by. I appreciate it. If you'd head on down, hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up button. I know, this is totally stupid, I can't believe this is so dangerous, blah, 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 but please give me a thumbs up and share the video, really helps out the channel. Alright guys, until next video, stay cool.